Hello everybody, I am Jess Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for a shaving video. Anyways, before I get too far into it, I would like to do a shout out. This shout out is to a gentleman and if I mess up your last name, Dennis, I apologize, but <clears throat> my voiceover pronounces it as Odrain. So, welcome Dennis Odrain. Um, I hope that you find this video and future videos entertaining and as packed full of knowledge as hopefully some of my others have been, have been. Anyways, so today this is kind of more of a, I don't know, dedication video or whatever. Uh, this video is f dedicated to a friend of mine who we've been friends for years since high school days, or actually since junior high days. Uh, his name is James. Say, hey James, everybody. Hey. Anyhow, um, he went ahead and he got a micro touch one a while ago. Uh, misplaced it, found his dad's uh, vintage Gillette, uh, wasn't sure if he wanted to get into it or not. He works a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share this video to uh, him on Messenger and uh, go ahead and hopefully teach him a thing or two about how to shave like a man. Anyways, so Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to use. The razor is because of his dad's razor. I'm shaving with this one. This is a E2 Gillette 195 adjustable, or as we lovingly call it, the Fat Boy. Um, my friend Jim. His dad shaved with a, a fat boy as well. Um, he thought he had lost it years ago. One day he opened a box, found his dad's old fat boy, and he said it was uh, had like a, a greenish patina on it. So uh, hopefully this video will get him to say, you know what, I think I'll pull my dad's out and get it tuned up at Razor Emporium. And cleaned up and go ahead and start shaving with a double edge anyways the blade today is the persona platinum or persona red um, Jim just so you know these razors they are adjustable go one to nine and whenever you adjust the razor always crack the silo doors, which is the butterfly doors up here. Some people call them the barn, barn doors. You just want to crack them open enough for you to adjust it. Um, that way, so when you adjust it for, you know, wherever you want it, if you're adjusting it for each pass, it will go ahead and, um, you know, you won't stress the blade, stress the mechanism. And besides, if you don't crack the doors, you'll get a suck ass shave. Anyways, so the nice thing, Jim, is when you close it down, give it a quarter turn, and it locks those doors down, and then they ain't going to open. For the first pass, I'm going to be shaving on 9, second pass 8, third pass 7. So, we'll put this over here in the stand. The brush today, I'm using this one, my Razor Rock 24mm Barber Handle Plus Soft Brush. This, I'm using this because of the two soaps that I'm choosing to use, which are going to be, I can't remember the name of it. I've had this since February of 2015. It's pretty much gone, but it still has some scent, as you might see. And this is Katie's Bubbles. Don't ask me what the name is. I can't remember. Um... It's, I think, like a barbershop scent. And I'm going to be making a Franken lather or super lather, mixing this 
with this, what's left of a sample of Captain's Choice Sandalwood, uh, which is one of the samples I got when I ended up winning my Captain's Choice North. This, I used it the other night, and oh, this has an absolutely beautiful, beautiful sandal, Colony Sandalwood scent. So, and we're going to be mixing it up in this here, my Crown King Victorian um, style 12 ounce scuttle in white. Um, I got this as a Father's Day gift. So we're gonna dump the hot water out. And for those of you who don't know what a scuttle is, um, basically you have your lather chamber here as you can see it's got nicer ridges and lines in it but you have your lather chamber here and you have this hole in this cork the nice thing about the crown king is it comes with both a silicone and a cork cork um, or a plug whatever you want to call them but you fill that hole up with hot tap water never boiling don't microwave it, don't boil it, pour it in. If you do that, you might stress your porcelain to the point of it fracturing or cracking. So you just fill it up with as hot a tap water as, you know, just out of the tap. Just turn the hot water straight on. And if you're using a natural hairbrush, and for these silicone corks, just twist it and push it down. That was a trip, tick, and tip, trick, and hack from Douglas Smythe himself about putting a cork in these scuttles. But you go ahead and fill it up with hot water. And then in gym, I remember years ago, we was talking and you said that you loved the little thing that you put over the can of shaving cream, which heated it. Um, I think Sharper Image made them things but you said you love the warm lather this will give you a nice warm lather and i always put a little bit of water in it rinse it around sluice it out and the reason why i'm using this synthetic brush is because synthetic brushes for me captain's choice i found with the captain's choice soap i get a better results of whipping up a lather with a synthetic brush. I'm not saying you can't do it with a bore or a badger. Um, you know, people do it all, all the damn time. But me, I just seem to get a little better results. So I'm going to put about that much. That might be a little much, but I'm a head shaver as well. So we're going to put that down in there. Kind of smush it down into the bottom of the scuttle. I'm just, you can't see me doing this, but I'm smearing it around to the bottom of my scuttle. And then I'm going to take my sandalwood here. I'm just going to take my finger. I'm scooping out like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go lather crazy here, guys. Captain's Choice doesn't seem to come off the finger quite as easy as, say, Katie's Bubbles, my Katie's Bubbles does. But then again, <laughs> my Katie's Bubbles are like two years old, so. Uh, mm. And that scuttle is setting down here on my sink counter. And when I lean forward, I start picking up the scent of that sandalwood. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sandalwood scent. So if you don't want that basic, you know, that, that, that earthy, muddy type sandalwood, like Parasso Red, which I don't mind, but if you don't want that earthy scent in your sandalwood and you want a little bit of a cloney scent, if you haven't tried this Captain's Choice, go ahead and do it. Okay, since my brush is synthetic, I didn't need to soak it. I just filled up the, you know, just got the bristles nice and wet. And in hot water. 
I'm just going to shake out the excess. Got my good old trusty lather towel. Now, I like to hold my scuttle like that. Now, with the north, when I did this, I added too much water to my to the north. Um, it's a relatively thirsty soap. Hang on, guys. Okay. Um, it's a relatively thirsty soap, the north, or the captain's choice, but... I still ended up drowning it out a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. But it's just starting to... Oh yeah, that's really starting to turn up nice. A little bit more water. Yeah, if uh, <coughs> you're using one of these scuttles, I'm finding, and I haven't been using this scuttle a whole, whole lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's starting to try and come out of the top. Oh, damn. Um, yeah. You're not into watching some guy whip up his soap, then you might want to fast forward this because I'm not sure exactly how much long it's going to take. But you know, that's part of the enjoyment of this hobby is this. I mean, you know, um, Gil over on Second Sight, kind of cool. He, he touched on it, you know, and like he said, for the enjoyment. In case you're wondering anybody, these scuttles are under sure, under 30 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough cream for now. Uh oh. So, hang on. Got some lander here, so let the face here. It's good. What not waste not, right? Oh, and I'm growing growing this back in. My girlfriend, she got this in the goatee. I wore one for oh god for years. And uh when her and I got together, back together, we dated when we were younger back in the 90s, but when her and I got back together, um, I had one. I had my goatee. And she missed it, so I'm growing it back for kind of a Christmas gift for her. I'm you know, you know, going to wear it through the holidays and come the end of December, I'm going to shave it off. I might, I'm thinking about going with the Micromatic open comb when I do that. I'll, of course, do that on camera. Anyways, so here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That warm. That lather. Hmm. That warm lather just feels really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I went ahead and so I can't remember where it was. Somebody said, you know, you know, get a get a metal bowl, get a bowl, a stainless steel bowl that can, you know, hold heat, whatever, and uh, put something ceramic in it. And uh, oh yeah, that's a nice, nice cushioning lather right there. Um, Katie's bubbles 
I always get great results with the Katie's Bubbles. Um, I got really good results with the Captain's Choice. So, as far as the quality of the shade goes, so I don't predict any woes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to have the big, big old hoof, you know. Or, you know, big old lather ball on the face. So, there we go. First pass. Fat boy on nine. Get some heat in this blade. Jim, it's always better to warm your blade under the hot water when you, when you start out. We're going to go with the first, first pass, we're going this way. Um, and Jim, if you do watch this, oh yeah, that's cutting okay, really nice. Um, you may not shave this way every day, but it's a, uh, Good way to spend your free time. Me, I shave about every other day. So, if I ain't quite looking at the camera, guys, I apologize. I think maybe I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit over here. So, yeah, in the fall, God. The stories I hear coming out of Puerto Rico, man, they got really walloped by that Hurricane Marie, or Maria, or whatever it was. My thoughts go out to those in Puerto Rico. Um, my thoughts go out to them. My thoughts go out to those on the Gulf Coast, there in Texas and Florida, I mean, and Louisiana, and wherever else might have got affected by these storms. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. You know, we have, you know, Mother Nature, she's always gonna tell us, or show us, that she's the one in charge. Anyways, that was a really nice pass. Felt really good. Wow, that went really quick considering that I didn't shave my under here and here. Um, yeah, pretty good. Oh, missed a little bit right there. But, uh, yeah, so my thoughts will go out to those of you that live on the Gulf Coast. Coast. Those of you in Puerto Rico or any part of the Caribbean that got hit, um, I hope you all are staying safe and trying to stay healthy and trying to stay positive. Anyways, so that's the first pass. Hang on. So. Had some water roll down underneath my tank top. So, some more cream that escaped the scuttle. Scuttle escaper. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I ended up, a little over a month ago, ended up dropping my iPhone 5S in a sink full of dirty dishes and dishwater. Pulled it out as quick as I could. Got it out of the otter box. Um, got it in a bowl of rice. Covered it, covered it in rice. Yeah, threw it in a bowl through rice, got, you know, basically surrounded it in rice. Next day I pull it out and uh, it uh, worked fine. I was right in the middle watching a 
I'd rather be shaving video or maybe it was a Razor Emporium DIY video on dismantling an adjustable. I can't remember which because they did some on oh God, dismantling a toggle, dismantling a bottom dial fat boy, I think a red dot fat boy if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. But the screen flickered because I do have some sight, not a whole lot, but some sight. Uh, the screen flickered and just went all black. And I'm filming with it. So, you know, uh, the second pass, I go up on the neck. So, which for me, since my hairs on my neck grow this way and this way and down in the middle, and uh, Basically, and across the grain, except for right here, that's against the grain. Um, yeah, Jim, if you are watching, don't ever, ever try and take all the hair off in one pass. Unless you like shave just the, uh, you know, earlier that day or something. Because. You can do it, um, but it's easier to do either two or three pass method. Um, so now I'm going to go across the grain from here, from the edge of my goatee to my ear. If you have problems with like dental problems, where your cheeks sunk in or just you know your sink, cheeks sink in a little bit naturally kind of put a puff of air like that um, and then here go I like the little puff of air trick watching Geo Fatboy, uh, ShadeNation.com. Great videos that guy has, I'll tell you what, I learned a lot. I'm watching him. Also learned a lot, you know, back then. And of course, I also learned a lot. I'm watching videos from other guys. Shave Busta, Chris Bailey. Um, Nick Shaves. A lot of those guys. Um, I even like Anthony Esposito. I mean, I'm not a straight razor shaver. I mean, the stallion, he's entertaining. I, I like him. And I don't know, I've always dug on the sound of straight razor going over whiskers ever since I was a little kid. My mom dated a guy that, that straight shaved. And I was just absolutely enthralled and fascinated with him doing that. That's why I'm putting this too thick. All I gotta do is paint. It's the third pass. What the hell am I doing? So, uh, I was just absolutely amazed by the sound of that straight razor and watching him drop that damn thing. The guy was a cheapskate. Um, didn't like spending money, but I'll tell you what, he is a hell of a, he, he used to be a barber, so he was really, really good with that straight. I'm sorry to reach guys. Really, really good with that straight, so you know, I just like kind of watching him. Oh. oh, dang, I'm not adjusting this. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, guys, I would have went on eight, but since I'm not, for the second pass, for his third pass, eight, seven. There we go. Make sure. Nine, eight, seven. There we go. So, as you saw, Jim, I cracked the silo doors, tightened it in. And 
blade gap has changed. There's less space beneath the safety bar, which is this part, and the edge of the blade. So, and for anybody who hasn't messed with these, if you get into vintage razors and you hear about the blue, black, flare, red tip, this razor was kind of, these adjustables was kind of a combo of all of them. One, two, and three is like shaving on with a blue tip. Four, five, six is like shaving with a flare tip, which I have a 1960 flare tip. That's a damn good shaver. And seven, eight, nine is like shaving with the red tip, which are all super speed razors. Um, it's like shaving with the red tip, which is the most aggressive super speed you can buy or get. You just can't walk in the store and get them anymore, unfortunately. Um, Gillette went to cartridges. Um, no, some some guys they go ahead and you'll get pretty good shaves out of them cartridges. Me, um, I'll be honest, I've got good shaves out of them. Decent enough shades. But here's the thing. I don't have the money to go in every single month and drop. I don't I don't have the money to drop what they want for the cartridges. I think the latest one's like 18 bucks for four to fit it. Now I'm going against the grain, against the growth, going up on the sides. Um, and I mean, you might say, well, how much did you pay for that soup for the fat boy? The answer is 40 bucks, by the way. Um, and how much did you pay for some of your other razors? Well, um, some of them I got for free, some of them I paid for, but here's the thing. Eventually, my razor buying days are going to be over. My brush buying days are going to be over. The only thing I'm going to be buying our razor blades and soaps and I picked up Gillette Silver Blues a uh, hundred of them through RazorsDirect.com if you've never been there check them out you can get some of the blades they sell you can get them cheaper on eBay or through maybe um, Amazon but hundred Gillette Silver Blues through RazorsDirect.com and their shipping is not as slow as it used to be, but it's not like next day. Their shipping, <coughs> pardon me, shipping is free, and I got 100 Gillette Silver Blues for $20.90 and cents, or $20 and change. So basically, almost 21 bucks in Silver Blues. Everywhere else I looked, they were more. Um, you know, and I got, what was it, 100 Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades for like 8 bucks. Well, I ordered 100 of those, 100 of the Darby Extras, 18 something for all of them. And that was with shipping, because one of them was free shipping. Um... The Persona Reds, West Coast Shave, a hundred of them, twelve bucks and change. Uh, ain't bad. So eventually, I ain't gonna need to buy anything but blades and soaps. And blades are hella cheap, and soaps they don't cost that much either. So anyhow, that is the shave. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead because I don't. I imagine you guys probably don't want to shave, see me shave my arm. So what I'm gonna do is oh after i rinse and apply some alum oh, what the hell. i'm gonna just go ahead and cut away for now and um when i come back i'll do the post shave 
Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Hey folks, I'm back. Anyways, um, as you can see, the noggin's nice and smooth. I went ahead and I shaved that on setting 7. Um, as well as the third pass on the face. Um, didn't have many pickups to do. Uh, that fat boy really does a nice job at cleaning it cleaning it up um, and so anyway that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna ahead put some alum on my face and then let that set for a few and rinse it off and then do the post you always want to have your face damp when you do alum um, this is my alum block it's a razor rock alum or alum as some call it. This will give you feedback. Not, not bad, not bad. Um, you know, I've seen guys on YouTube, Paul H and stuff, they sit there and they're like, eh, no, not even a tingle or, you know, not much feedback. Uh, but me, no matter how light my touch is, I always get some feedback. Um, so, Anyways, I'm going to let that sit for about 30. Uh, but, yeah, I hope y'all have been getting some nice shaving goodies lately. Uh, soaps, razors, blades, anything shaving related is always a goodie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. I planned, or my girlfriend was planned on going ahead and dry this off, pat dry. Asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I said, well, when it comes to my single edges, right now I've got the Colonial General. I was hoping that they'd be releasing their stainless steel model um, on time on the date they gave. Still haven't seen anything about that. And I said, well, you know, uh, um, Razor Rock Joe up at Italian Barber, he's releasing a second bat, you know, a second version of the, of the Hawk. Or he's, you know, brought the Hawks back, their version twos. Uh, I'll take one of those. And she was like, okay, cool. We'll get that for you. And then my girlfriend ended up doing a bunch of work on the street. My girlfriend ended up parking out on the street one night after she got back from driving with Uber. And some little punk went ahead and busted out our back window. That was like 230 bucks to replace. So... There went my Razor Rock Hawk for her for a birthday, so. But we got up the next morning, our van's brand new. It's a 2017, and uh, her dad's helping us with it because he wants to make sure we got a good vehicle, and yada, yada, yada. And, um, and then my nephew comes over and says, like, Lance back window on your van's busted out and I'm like what so I tell my girlfriend we go up there and sure enough big old hole looked like he, you know somebody hit it with something and just busted a hole in that and then you know, there was drama with with the guy being a you know a little douchey um, on the window uh, so we ended up finally getting it fixed for 230 at one place and uh, Luckily, we got good neighbors because they saw us trying to, you know, they saw us getting ready to tape up the back window after we had knocked the glass out and I had vacuumed out the inside of the van. They just got home and they saw us getting ready to tape up plastic bags over it and they come out with a big old roll of masking tape and tape it all up for us. So, real cool guys. Um, I love, we, we love our neighbors here. They're great people. Anyhow, so, on to the post. The first... 
thing I always use after I do the lum on my face. But the first thing I use on my head and my face is this good old Dollar General Witch Hazel. Jim, alum, it's a take it or leave it sort of thing. But if you go ahead and get into this, Witch Hazel, it's a great thing. Whether you use Thayer's, Humphreys, um, Master Wilcon, I think I said his name right. Um, or just regular old Dollar General Witch Hazel. It's great for your face. Uh, you get feedback from the alum block that tells you where you got a little close. But this this Witch Hazel, it's an astringent, and it just I mean it just makes your face your face. And if you shave your head like me, it makes your head feel great too. What the hell's this? What's this? Oh, that's that baby Tylenol. Yeah, I got some teeth going bad, so I've been using baby Tylenol like Oragel. Putting it in my mouth and letting it set in the teeth. You know, the area where the teeth is, rubbing it on my gums. Um, hey, if you got some teeth going bad and you ain't got no Oragel on hand, or if you don't like it for whatever reason, and you got some of that baby Tylenol, I mean, a full cap is like 300 milligrams. And I mean, you could take, you know, do some of that and then go ahead and pop an extra string Tylenol, Tylenol capsule. It freaking works. Now, since this shave was kind of inspired, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking of my friend Jim's dad, Ed, who was like a second dad to me. Um... I decided for the aftershave, go with this one. Good old, old standard, been around a long time. Ice Blue Aqua Valva. And one of the reasons why I chose it is because my friend Jim's dad was, and don't take this wrong anybody, I love the man like a second, like, like my own father. But he was, and my friend Jim will agree, the man was a true blue Pain in the ass, but he was always a pain in the ass with the love. Ooh, damn. Um, he is a good man. And I still think of him from time to time. Even using that fat boy, even that fat boy, though that fat boy is not his, wasn't his. Um, my friend Jim wanted to give me his dad's fat boy after his dad passed. I was like, no, that's your dad's. And he's like, no, dad would want you to have it. His mom absolutely flipped out and said, no, that was your dad. You or your brother should have it. Ooh, I love that ice blue. It's nice and cooling. Um, and you know what? Since we did some Captain's Choice, I'm going to use the last of my Captain's Choice Bay Rum sample. We'll see how that, that goes together. Bay Rum aftershave sample. Dang, quite enough. I got Nivea, so screw it. This Captain's Choice shaving balm. You don't need a lot. Um, a little bit goes a long way, I found. So, but yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, but. Yeah, so I still think of that old guy sometimes when I shave with my fat boy. But anyways, you know, um, I'm sure many of you, when you use certain razors, you think of somebody that meant something to you. Because either the razor was theirs or it was like one they had, whatever, you know. Um, anyways, so yeah. That's the shave. Let's go ahead and let's go over what we used. The razor was the E2 or 1959 second quarter Gillette 195 adjustable or as people like to call it, Fat Boy, Gillette Fat Boy. Um, adjustable razor, first pass and second pass was on nine. Um, third pass was on seven on my face. For my head, it was on seven. D 
did a great job nice and smooth no complaints the blade brand spanking new first use um, persona red or persona platinum they're also known as persona red or some call them pers israeli personas um, absolutely wonderful blade never have a problem with that blade the soap was a franken franken lather between Katie's Bubbles, whatever this is called, kind of a, oh, I don't know, kind of neutral, neutral, not quite neutral, I don't know, maybe a little barbershoppy scent, and pretty much the rest of my Captain's Choice sandalwood sample, and I mixed those up here. In my Crown King 12 ounce Victorian Scuttle. Um, wonderful, warm lather. Just felt absolutely great on the face, absolutely great on the head. Um, it was just great. Um, I loved it. Uh, very happy I did that. The brush was. The Razor Rock 24 millimeter Plasoft in the barber handle brush, or in the barber handle, which this is a synthetic brush. Look at that, it's still got a good amount of lather in there. Let's see here. Look at that. Yeah, that's some lather right there. Oh, yeah, that's some good lather. Finish it up with a. Uh, Cold or warm water rinse followed by cold. Um, use the lum on my face. On my face and head, I used Dollar General, cheap old Dollar General witch hazel. Um, the aftershave was Ice Blue Aquavella. In honor of a true blue pain in the butt, uh, miss you, Ed. And uh, that was Paul tap cut capped off with the final, the last of my Captain's Choice Bay Rum aftershave bomb sample. Uh, wonderful bomb, doesn't take a lot little bit goes a long way my skin feels great not tacky not oily um you know I'm baby butt smooth uh no irritation you know uh I can't say anything better about the shave other than that I mean the soap between the two soaps they gave me everything I needed um cushion glide slickness residual slickness Great post shave. Anyways, mm, man, that smells good. Anyways, so that's the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyways, uh, y'all have a good, good evening, great day, great shaves, and I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now. Hey everybody, there is two things I wanted to uh, go over in this shave, which I forgot. Um, one is just a tip that I found for uh, just your post-shave care for your twist up and razor. Now, whether you have a vintage Gillette Fat Boy such as this one, um, or say a modern Parker, or even a you know just a Weishi. Um, or who knows, you may be one of those guys that have one of those sought after toggles or bottom dial or red dot fat boys. And no matter whether you paid $20 or $600 or more for a razor, the last thing you want is to allow water to cause any harm to the internal parts of your razor. Now, what a lot of people don't think of with these razors is 
handle may sound solid, but it's hollow. So you can go ahead and you can get them, I believe, Wesco Shave. I'm sure other places. You can buy ra razor stands. I have a clamp, so you can clamp your razor like that upside down and allow the excess water that gathered in the handle during your shave to drip out. If you don't have one of those, just go ahead and you know put a washcloth up on your shave shelf or countertop, wherever it is you keep your razor, and just boom, set it like so, let it dry. Or I have this container which I put my three-piece handles in upside down to allow water to drain out there. Well, what I do is boom, just like that. Any water on the razor or in the handle gathers in the bottom of this pill bottle and none gets on my shave shelf and I stay nice and happy razor gets nice and dry so it's win-win all the way now the second one thing I want to talk to you about and Jim you'll need to know this if you're not into double-edged shaving yet and anybody that's new is finding the angle of your razor now the ideal angle for a well the angle for your razor whether it's twist open two piece or three piece is between 30 and 45 degrees like such as for this fat boy about here now there's two ways you can go ahead if you're not sure on finding the angle or used to hitting the angle yet two ways you can do it one place your razor perpendicular to your face with the with the head against your noggin and then just bring the blade down until you feel the edge of that blade lock your wrist start your downward stroke you can do that for whichever you're going against the growth or across the growth whichever another way say you have sideburns which apparently I don't and you want to go ahead and you want to have a nice straight line just take the edge of your safety bar place the razor parallel to your face with that with that safety bar right there bring it up till you feel the edge of the blade lock the wrist start your downward stroke now keep two two things in mind one if you're doing this and you don't hear audio feedback like you should or you don't feel any of the whiskers really being removed or not that well, then you're too high. Um, so what you want to do is just bring it down a little till you feel that edge again and go. If you feel the blade digging into your, trying to dig into your face, then more than likely it's like that. It's too far down. So you're going ahead and the blade is just instead of cutting it's more scraping you don't want to scrape your whiskers off you want to cut them off so just go ahead and stop bring it up and do another tip a lot of twist opens now these these adjustables um i don't know if all adjustables gillette adjustables do it but on most of them like this fat these fat boys you just Twist it until the handle stops and then just, or until the knob stops, and just give it a quarter turn. And that will lock your doors in place to keep them because if your doors start coming open, then your blade is going to kind of uh, start to wiggle. Um, some call it blade, you know, it's going to start to wiggle. And then what's going to happen is it's going to be a really rough shave. I once had that experience and it was such a horrible shave. And I realized that, that, you know, at the end of the shave or towards the end of the shave, I heard the blade rattling a lot. And I was like, I checked and I was like, oh man, my doors aren't all the way closed all the way. So anyways, those are my two quick things I wanted to share with you. Anyways, I've already said goodbye to all of you. So... Take it easy.